In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to print out a contour cutting practice sheet to make sure your calibration is correct. So what we're trying to check is that the offset that we've set for this laser spot here and the actual blade of the cutter, that offset is actually correct. And we use a practice sheet to do that. So we need to position the practice sheet in your vinyl cutter like you can see here, basically upside down. And this area here allows enough room for the pinch rollers to actually do the, uh, to perform the practice sheet. So what we need to do now is bring up a uh, practice contour cutting sheet and we do that by clicking this button up here, the vinyl spooler. We click that up and we bring up the vinyl spooler and we're interested in this calibration tab, we click on that. And then we come down and click on the arms practice cut, this button here, and click on that. And it will ask us whether we actually want to uh, or whether we've printed out our practice sheet yet. Of course we haven't, so we click no and we're presented with this little module here. So as you can see, we load it into the cutter this way. So it goes in upside down in that position. And what we're interested in here is the automatic uh, arms detection that we want to actually check our uh, calibration. So we can print a practice sheet. So if we click on that, we just select our standard printer that we want to print onto. We click OK and our printer will go ahead and uh, print that out for us. Or we can save it as a PDF or bring it up as a PDF file and print that out and we should have something that prints out that looks something like this. And that's how we're going to position it into our uh, vinyl cutter. So once we've done that, we click Accept, we've printed it out, and uh, we need to load it into our cutter. So yes, we want to cut it now, so we click Yes. And the Align Cut File Wizard comes up. So now it's time to place this practice sheet into our vinyl cutter. So we place it, as you can see in the preview here, and what we must do is to uh, replace the blade with a pen. So I'd put a pen in your cutter and then you need to place the, use the arrow keys to position the laser pointer in the bottom right hand corner as you saw previously in that very bottom right hand corner just here and press origin on the cutter so it's now ready to do a, um, to actually cut this out. So once we click start the controller comes up as you can see and we can see a preview of what we're going to uh, cut out here. And we've got to make sure, as, as we've said before, that the laser's positioned in that bottom right corner. We'll go through and scan it for us. Now, another thing that you may have to adjust is the sensitivity here. For normal vinyl, uh, 10 to 15 is fine. Uh, it should be not a problem. Um, and you can adjust it up here in this uh, uh, spin box here. If you've got really glossy vinyl, you might want to set it down to as low as 8. Uh, but, you know, it would have to be very glossy to do that. This is just so that the marks get read in correctly by the uh, laser. So once we're ready, we click Scan. And what's going to happen now is when we click Yes, uh, the cutter will jump into life and it will go through and scan all those marks. That'll take a little bit of time. Once they're scanned, you're ready to uh, proceed. So you click Yes. And that will load it um, directly into the vinyl spooler and then it immediately start uh, cutting that out for you, or in this case, using your pen. Once that's completed, uh, it'll looks something like this. It'll come out of the uh, cutter like that and you can see that uh, in this example that uh, we've done earlier you can see how accurately that um, contour cut line has come around the uh, the shapes that we've contour cut. Now this is what you should get, something very similar to this. Um, if it is slightly out or out by a long way you need to recalibrate your uh, offset and you just rerun that calibration lesson again. And that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.